my name is Babs and I hope you're great. This new video is about, it's a quick review actually, uh, about a great book I've read uh, three years ago, which is The Fifth Languages of Love from Gary Shepman. The title is in French because I read it in French and this book, uh, really, this book really help me understand me better, understand my way, my love language better and the love language of my loved one and relate it better because um, we love in a different way, in a different manner. You will, you may hear some couples, some people say that, oh, uh, you don't love me, oh, he does not love me because uh, in fact, we express our love in different ways and we, we've never been told that. Uh, some men believe their father did not love them because the father never tell them that he actually loved them. And, but he expresses love another way. And this is the object of the video because I wanted to do other, other video of relationship but I saw that I have to do this video first, so uh, it will be just the, the, the roots of all the video will, that will come after. So first of all, the first languages, um, the first love languages the, the author speak, sp uh, talk about is the word of affirmation. What is the word of affirmation? It's the compliment you pay to people. It's the positive statement. Oh, you'll do it. You can absolutely do it. I'm proud of you. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, nice dress, nice suit. Mm, it's elegant. You're handsome. Oh, oh my. You know, this kind of really positive word, positive statement about the, about the other. Uh, it's the talking to, to uh, of the other in a positive way. Oh, you know, she can do everything. Oh, yeah, she may do that. She's capable. She is intelligent. She's smart. Oh, she's beautiful. Hey, guy, I trust you. You can do this. Don't stress out. You can do this. This is word of affirmation. And some people express their love that way. And sometimes it may be, um, uh, it may be seen as um, flattery, but it's not. It's really the way the person really express the way she loves and appreciates you. It's like saying that you have a beautiful uh, handwriting. Some people just say, uh, uh, oh, um, I, I, I got this case, really, uh, I got this case once. Um, a, a friend of mine went on vacation in Italy, in Italy and she wrote me a card to tell me about this vacation and show me the, the, the place she went. And she, and when I just received the card, I saw a handwriting and I thought it was beautiful. I mean, I am the kind of person who, who are like, oh, I write and you have to understand what, is, what, what I'm uh, writing. And for me, it's the most important, the beautiful, not beautiful, I don't care for my writing. But for her writing, I just read a card and I was like, wow, she, wow, that's beautiful handwriting. And I told her and she looked at me and say, oh, I don't think so. I was like, what? I mean, I just pay you a compliment, express you a, a word of, me, of, my, of affirmation, express that I like something about you and you just bash me in all face. Okay, that's right. That's not your love language. Just, I, get, I get it. I understand. So that's the reason why I express, uh, in a, I think I, I, I may do that, did that in other videos, so that Really, when someone pays you compliments, say, receive it, say thank you. It's a way to express love. Sometimes it's just flattery from people who do want something from you. Like the, 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 the it's a French, it's a French book. I don't know if it's known in English, but it's kind of uh, stories with animals that, um, enlighten human behavior to just teach you some lessons and in this minute this short story this story um it was the the, the crow and um the, the it was a crow uh who leave his chick is um is uh oh <laughs> leave his cheese because he pay, he received 
um, a compliment which was transformed like a mockery and to respond he leave the cheese and he learned that um, he, it's, it was not a compliment, a true, a true compliment so he did not have to leave the cheese but it was the way <laughs> and um, that's the reason why you have to, to pay attention the compliment is in you know that two per two person who are involved with each other, two friends, two people who are close. Sometimes it's formed from a person in the street. Just say, "Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you look good in this dress. Oh, you look good." Uh, sometimes it's just word of information. Just receive it and give thanks. That's all. The second languages is quality time. Oh, you did not spend time with me. I didn't. I did not see you a lot. You always at work. You always doing that. You always doing that. Oh, at the beginning of the relationship, you were with me. Now you're not with me. I do not see you anymore. I, I miss you. Blah 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 blah. The person is screaming for quality time. The person is obviously obviously telling you that she wants to spend time with you. And you know that's the beauty of critics. You have to hear what is not say, because what is not say is the thing that the person wants. Oh, I do not see you. I want to see, means I want to see you. Oh, you do not spend time with me. Means I want to spend time with you. Oh, uh, you always spend time with your friend with blah blah. It means I want to spend time with you. I want you to choose to spend time with me. It's really pay attention because your partner always gives you clues to what he or she wants always pay attention listen as we said we have two ears to listen just one mouth to, to 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 talk one mouth to talk listen listen guys communication is about listen and talk but first in order to say the right thing you have to listen to understand so quality time maybe just being in a couch together doing nothing but talking sometimes it can be just sitting somewhere still doing nothing maybe stay in silence together quality time is um you know that she like this type of events just if you are a man just go um Try to try to find kind of even she likes, or a kind of restaurant she likes. If she wanna say some, uh, try something new, um, surprise her, surprise her. I always tell that to my brother. Do not take your woman for granted. It is the number one mistake of many many people in couple. Do not take your partner for granted, even if you marry for twenty years. Do not, do not. He or she is not your sibling. It's not your mother. It's not uh, a friend, it's your love, but romantic lover. So, surprise, novelty, new, novelty, new thing, new gift, new, 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 to keep it fresh. Because it's not a mother-child relationship that you know she will love you forever. No, it's not this kind of relationship. It's not. So, quality time surprise her be there for her or be there for him spend time with him i don't know okay this was the second the second love languages the third one uh is physical touch and physical touch is always um is always seem seem like oh you you talking about sex no physical touch is just say hey hello Physical touch is a hug. Physical touch is touching your hair. Physical touch is coming here and just touch the back of the person. Physical touch is taking hands. Physical touch is just uh, taking, you know, when you walk and you take the arm of the person. No, I can't do it. <laughs> but um, it's taking the arm of the person. Physical touch is touching the person. Whenever you come, just uh, you go near her, you touch her. Yeah, that's physical touch and people um, whose love languages is physical touch one that were the primary languages is people that love loved to be hugged 
love that you come to them and you touch them to say hello to, to whatever reason they like it yeah they like sex too that's normal but the physical touch connection at all but it's also tiny tiny touch of everyday life at every time for any reason okay so this is physical touch this is how we can express your love by physical touch the fourth one is act of services yeah at the beginning of relationship he was always good no we change for instance we change at the beginning of the relationship um she made me dinner uh she uh she she wore um uh really nice dresses uh well um she um what if the main complaint of the guy uh let me see yeah, she she was always with makeup. She was beautiful. She was shiny, and now that we're together for a while, uh, she just let all this thing go, and I really like it when she was at her top for every time for me. And uh, act of services, being beautiful for your man, for your women, act of services, cook for him, for her. Example of actor services, of course, you do whatever you want, okay? Um, cooking for the other, it's an actor services. And I always tell uh, the, the, the gentleman, the man, that you don't know what you miss by refusing to cook for your women. Because you women will be so amazed, like, oh, you do that for me. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, you can win some point there, but well, it's free. You are free to uh, let this point away from you. You will take it. That's yours. That's your decision. Um, act of gift can be act of gift can be. Um, I need your help on this matter. Oh, my computer uh, has a problem. Can you help me? Uh, I'm not. I'm not strong in languages. Can you help me? Um, it's really the, all the thing that you can do to ease the other person's life. It's the other thing that you can do more because you like the person or maybe it's your way of expressing love. So, um, the other person may or may not understand this way. It is you to, it is your turn to communicate that, that, okay, I am not the I love you show um, the I love you type of guy of woman but I like to show my love this or that way what is your way to receive love and in order to know that you have to observe observe the person because we always all the time give you clues you know that the lady who cooks for a man who may maintain her house clean who do everything for a man to be comfortable at home is someone who expresses love by heart of services. So she wants to receive love by heart of services. But if you do not understand the act of services, the pro there, there, there will be a problem one time because the man won't appreciate her for doing that and he will take that for granted and that's the beginning of the problem. Every time you take things for granted in a relationship with people is the beginning of the problem. It's the beginning of the problem because it means that you see that uh, the all the thing they can do as something that is kind of a duty when it's not. It's a choice. So as if the person choose year after year, day after day, month after month to love you, to do things for you, really appreciate that take time to appreciate that to express your thanks to the person not because i tell you to do so but because the other person will feel appreciated and you will be and you will feel blessed to have somebody like that in in your life and it will strengthen your relationship whether that oh she has to do that she is a woman <laughs> You know, you know. Oh, he has to do that. He is the man. <laughs> no, appreciate what the uh, what the other does for you. And 
I always tell that to my brother. Sometimes he, he really had expressed his love for, for me by acts of services. And I say to him, really, thank you very much. And I give him a hug. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's normal, it's normal. I say, no, you could have said no, I'm busy. Or say, you could have been mad or, or whatever. So I appreciate you being so kind to me. Thank you. He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's simple, it's little, but it gives services to you and of the other person because you receive from the other and the other is not a uh, it's not a duty it's not a badge to, to give that to you but he chooses to because he or she chooses to thank him or her and feel blessed by, while receiving the fifth languages you have to observe for that the fifth languages is gift receiving Hmm, for that you have to, to observe too. Uh, I had a conversation with my, my little brother who just come after me and we were talking about gifts. He said, yeah, you know, to make my lady happy, I will uh, offer her a really expensive gift. And I look at him because I know him. I say, hmm, that's, uh, that's not the right thing for to do for sure because I know it is the the type of thing that will work with you because you like expensive things you say yeah he, I said yes but your girl is not like you so in order to offer a, a presence that will make the other person really really happy not this fake happiness like oh thank you I'm happy thank you thank you no not this fake happiness really happy like oh, wow Oh, you you see me it that's the highest you know when you offer a gift to somebody who just see that oh, this is what I wanted this is she did not say it but her eyes a, a face say that a face said you saw me this is what I wanted I'm happy you thought about me this is the strength behind the gift Giving. And in order to really use these love languages and to uh, um, uh, enhance it, you have to pay attention to the other spirit, to the other person. That's what that's what I said to my little brother. I said you have to observe your lady. What does she like? If she tell you, oh, I it like I like a pair. Of, I I need a pair of shoe, a new pair of shoe. Do not criticize. Very ask question okay what kind of shoes what for oh maybe you know to go to the dress or maybe to you know absolutely i need a pair of sneakers to to do sports with all right she's giving you ideas of gifts um if you are men oh i have to have a new watch um yeah my watch seems to have some problem you are his lady listen okay he needs a pair of watch. Okay, what kind of watch do you like? Oh, I'll, I want to have, you know, I just have this kind of watch and do blah, 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 blah. People love talk about themselves. So, lesson, guys and girls, lesson. <laughs> Always lesson. Um, and, of, and then you have all the things to find the right gift. To, to your man or your woman and when he or she will receive the gift you will see the kind of look I like when I offer gift to someone wow oh you oh I like it this is what I wanted but uh, how did you do oh listen to you I know that you like you got full you love soccer and you got this player and it's like it seems like my brother-in-law was in, it's like he was in this place and I in love soccer too so I told him that hey I wanted to uh, offer my friend a, a present I know you like this player so can you find the, just um, a shirt of this player so I can just uh, have a present yeah I give you the money blah 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 I enjoy you the man was happy he was like 
Wow, you did that for me. Yes, I did that for you because I like you. And gift giving is a way to show you that I like you, I respect your taste, and because I like you, respect your taste, and listen to you, and see you, see by my eyes, by my spirit, by um, the relationship we have, I find the gift that will make you very, very happy. And when the person received the, the gift, she is happy as hell. You are as happy as hell because, wow, you see the happiness in the eye. She sees you like, wow, you see me. And this is a bond. You strengthen the relationship between you two. So that's what, support. that's the fifth language is of love, of Gary Chapman. If you do, um, I invite you to go and back the and buy the book because it is really fantastic. Uh, in all the for all the fifth languages, he just talk about some couple uh, with different issues. Sometimes are on the point to divorce because they did not understand each other anymore, and he help them really um, connect to each other on each other's. Uh, communication um, communi communication la la uh, um, frequencies frequencies so each other can understand each other and when each other understand each other boom. one couple strong together until uh, the time that God or the universe of the couple decide to be one okay thank you for watching like subscribe comment share the video around you and i see you next week bye it was about some time